Good morning. I'm going to be doing some thoughts of the days uh, that involve objects. Um, I believe that we can use all things to think of God, to remind us of God and to glorify God. And today we're going to use a pencil. Most of us are familiar with the pencil. And to me it reminds us, or to me it reminds me of my life. And with a pencil you can leave it on the side and do nothing with it. Or you can use it. And I know that God's given us many, many gifts. But sometimes I, I know we're not, we're not using the gifts that God's given us. Maybe because we're scared, maybe because we're not aware what those gifts are. So let's take the humble pencil. We can use it. We can use it to draw. We can use it. Artists use it to create amazing drawings and paintings that actually bless people. And to me that's an amazing gift and one I haven't got. Many people can write poems, write stories. Again, that's not one of my gifts. So how can we use the pencil to remind us about God? Well, the pencil reminds me of God because it's filled. It's filled with graphite as we are filled with the Holy Spirit but like graphite and the Holy Spirit it needs to be used if we don't use it then actually it's just sitting there doing nothing the other thing the pencil reminds me of is we can we can be working away and sometimes we we try too hard and when we do that We break, the graphite breaks, and we break under pressure. And sometimes the lead can actually break completely off. And we can, we have choices then, we can give up. Or we can get a pencil sharpener. And we can resharpen the pencil. And again, we can use the sharpenings to remind us of those mistakes we make, those things we do wrong, those things where we failed. But we can carry on, we have the choice to carry on, carry on going. And although I can't draw and I'm not a writer, there are simple things you can do. For instance, with a pencil. I'm just going to write a few words. So we have three words, oh, I love you, powerful words that can change someone's life. Thank you, giving thanks to God, giving thanks to other people, you do amazing things. And then sorry, saying sorry to God for the things we've done, saying sorry to other people for the stuff we've done to them. But again, we can try too hard. And the lead breaks. And we're caught in a dilemma again. Do we give up? Is it just too much? But Jesus tells us, I am with you to the end of the age. I will never leave you or forsake you. So I believe we are empowered to get the sharpener. Take time out. Maybe as we're sharpening the pencil, we can say a prayer. Think of some ways in which we can improve, some ways in which we can actually be kind to ourselves. 
and sometimes we make mistakes. But like the pencil, God has a rubber, it's called Jesus. And Jesus forgives us. But do we forgive us? Do we actually forgive ourselves for the things we've done wrong? The things we could have done better? The times when we didn't try? So next time you pick up the pencil, remember, God is with you. You're not alone. Don't give up. Keep going. And use your gifts. Because your gifts can change someone's lives. And with all things, even with a pencil, give glory to God.